today is the last Sunday before um, Christmas. So it's the fourth Sunday of Advent. And today is all about someone really special to the story of Christmas. And that is Mary. Because without Mary, we couldn't have Jesus. So today's story is actually going to come from the I Wonder Bible. And it's one that I have not had very long, but I really, really enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. So the story is all about, I wonder about the birth of Jesus. And here's the angel Gabriel. And there's Mary. The angel Gabriel quietly opened the gates of heaven and flew like a feather down to earth. He had a special message to deliver to a young girl named Mary, who lived in Nazareth. Mary was sitting by a fire, thinking about God, and then the whole room was flooded with light, and Gabriel softly whispered her name. He said, Mary, God is with you. Mary fell in fright to the floor, because there was an angel in her room, and I guess that was probably terrifying. And she gazed up at the silvery wings fluttering in the firelight. She'd never seen or even heard of an angel before. Don't be afraid, Gabriel said. You've been chosen for something wonderful. You'll be the mama of God's son. You must name your little one Jesus, and he will grow up to be king of the whole world. Mary couldn't believe what she was hearing. And honestly, I would be pretty skeptical too. Could it really be true? I don't understand, she said. I'm not even married yet, and I'm so young. Don't worry, Mary, the angel said softly. God can do anything. Even your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, and everyone said she was too old. But nothing is impossible with God. So Mary traveled to visit her cousin Elizabeth. What? Elizabeth was going to have a baby too? Mary could hardly believe it. But if it was true, how wonderful would that be? Mary smiled at the angel. I'm God's servant, she whispered, and no matter what happens, I'll always be God's servant. So Mary decided to try and believe despite her disbelief and do as the angel said. But early the next morning, she jumped out of bed and set out for the little village on the hill where Elizabeth and Zechariah lived. She would soon find out from Elizabeth if what the angel had said was true. <laughs> Hurrying to the door, she knocked, and she heard Elizabeth's footsteps, and as soon as Elizabeth saw Mary, she put her hand on her own tummy and cried out in surprise, Mary, the baby inside me just jumped for joy. You're going to have a baby too. I just know it. How blessed are you? Mary gasped in amazement. So it was all true. God's Holy Spirit danced as Mary hugged Elizabeth and sang for joy. There's Mary and Elizabeth. Mary said, Oh, how my spirit rejoices. Oh, hear my spirit sing. For I will have a little boy and he will be a king. I'll sing praise to my Savior, the Holy Mighty One. And one day all the earth will know the great thing God has done. So Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months and every day they marveled at what the angel had told them and wondered what their special sons would be like. When Elizabeth's boy was born, he was named John. And after a few months later, it was Mary's turn to welcome her special son into the world. We talked about John last week. So I wonder what Gabriel actually looked like. Because we don't know. We just know that he was an angel and he came to Mary. But we don't really know much about angels at all. So I wonder what he looked like. We kind of guess that, we, we guess that angels looked like they were bright and shiny and had feathery wings. But we don't really know. So I wonder what he did look like. And I wonder, I wonder how scared Mary was and how she took the news. We kind of suppose from her story in the Bible that she was afraid, which makes sense because I would have been afraid too. But I wonder also if she was excited because having a baby is an exciting thing most of the time, or at least it should be. So I wonder how she felt. I want you guys to think about those questions this week and get really excited because we're almost there for Christmas. I will put out another video pretty soon with our Christmas story for this year. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and are having a great break from school.